hi <laughs> so here we're gonna talk about books and maybe something more than just books but we'll see books for now um, and the first thing we're gonna talk about is uh, All Souls trilogy <laughs> um, probably just the first book today Discovery of Witches um, and uh, my dear husband is gonna <laughs> ask me questions about it so it's a uh, um, like an interview format we'll try out and we'll see okay. so we'll start with that so just what's the title of the first book a discovery of witches and who's it by uh deborah harkness Which is the first book you've written, read by this author yeah i think that's all she's written there's oh, really? yeah there's another book that's supposed to be about a different character um in the books that isn't a separate book um but uh, but I think that's it. I mean, I haven't checked properly, but I, I, I tried looking for m more. I could read by her, but I can't find anything. Okay, so if she released a new book tomorrow, would you go and buy it? Uh, I wouldn't buy it tomorrow, probably. Okay. But I, I would like to read it to see what it is. I would, I would definitely check it out. Okay, and this is a trilogy, does it? Have you finished the trilogy? No, I'm reading the last book right now. I have 200 pages left. Do you know if it's structured as a trilogy or it just happened to stop after three? I think it's structured as a trilogy. Okay. So yeah, I'm really hoping for some sort of resolution now. <laughs> because the, the, the thing has been dragging for, for, for um, 1,800 pages. So <laughs> I want something to be resolved now. <laughs> Dragging, that's pretty damaging. Uh, so the third book does feel a bit like dragging. Um, yeah. It's uh, not good for a third book. It's usually the payoff. That's like Act Three, right? Well, nothing that I don't know. Like the first and second book, they have each things that interest me, and and I want to read about that. Third book is a bit of nothingness. It's not nothingness. I mean, maybe it's too damning. I don't want to. I don't want to damn the book. It's just I'm not enjoying it that much. I feel like it's. Uh, I feel like there's not enough of anything, because the first book was sort of introduction. The second book had its own thing, um, but it's still continuing the thing the thing that we're still trying to figure out in the third book um, but they had it, its own things this one does have a bit but there's a lot of stretches where there's just you know little things are happening and nothing that exciting or nothing that revealing do you feel like they could have landed the arc in the second book and just made it a, I don't know what the word is for a two story two book series Duology? Yes, unless there's something that needs doing that. They have, I don't know how much I want to say. They have this character that appeared in the second book a little bit. And the third book is made out like, like he's the nemesis now, the biggest one. And I feel like that's a bit weak. Okay. I don't know. I don't feel like. Yeah. Okay, but so far, short of like the spaceship arrives and, and it totally changes for the last, the third act of the third book, you feel like it could have landed a book before? Maybe not quite, but yeah. Okay. So, back. So I feel like I wanted the resolution after the. the so they started something in the first book, like very beginning, and he. I think it's okay to say what it's about because I think I think it's revealed quite quite early in the book sure. that they they they're looking for a book of life, um, and uh, it's supposed to answer all questions about the creatures, and uh, they want <laughs> they're still kind of searching for it in the second book, um, and they're still doing it in the third book, but I feel like that sorry what was the question. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like they could have landed. As far as you feel right now, 
Two yeah, they, your third book, you could have landed. Yeah, so there were a lot of pressures as there were in the two books why they needed the book. And I feel adding this another person or another thing why they have to fight to find it is a bit unnecessary. Sure. But that's like that's the McGovern's arc, right? The, uh, the thing they have to try and find. And you could draw that out as long or short as you want. Do the character arcs feel like they they could have landed? earlier, although they've already landed and that they're sort of starting new ones in this book they were completely unnecessary. Mm, not new ones, they are continuing the same ones a bit, but it's a bit like one time I almost rolled my eyes, ah, oh, that again. Um, like I feel like these are long books, we have been through that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't read the third book. Yeah, sure, sure. But, okay, so let's go back to the first book, which you definitely did enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, which is called... The Discovery of Witches. The Discovery of Witches. Okay. Um, so, what's the what's the world that it's set in? Because um, it's not quite our world, right? There's some magic in it, in, to some degree. Um, so it is our world, it's just that we don't know that there's creatures in it. Uh, there's in humans don't know that demons, witches and vampires exist. Sure. Well, I was very sort of, enough. yeah, they don't believe in them. Okay. Um, they think that that's like what we would think that all people believe in witches. Like that's, that's a sort of. Okay, but in this in this world, what is a witch? What is a vampire? What's what's different to it from the world that I perceive? What do you mean? As in, I don't. I, I've not. Met as in, well, what their characteristics are in the, is in this book? As well, in, what? Yeah, what is what is the magic in this world? So I, right, don't, okay. I don't experience much magic in my life, apart from obviously, you know, a lot of day nights and what have you. But uh, what's the the magic that, that you encounter in this world? Right. So there's vampires. Um, I think everything you think you know about vampires is what they are, except that they don't burn in, in the sun. Um, you can kill them if you, they have a heartbeat sometimes, they sleep sometimes, but very little. Okay. Um, are they all made? Like by yes. fighting? Yes. But the book is gonna have see, the, sort of how it the first one appeared, like how they appeared in, in the first place. Okay. So that's the, the what they're looking for. And so not just that, but just one of the things. So that was what comes to be. How does it reveal this world? Like um, the exposition of, of, the, of what the world is, is it, is it narrated exposition or do you just kind of find it out through a series of events? Yeah, it's more like that. So the witches, all the creatures don't want to be associated with one another, they avoid each other um, and hate each other or, or fear each other. Oh, what's a witch in this book? What, what do witches, what, yeah, what version of witch? I guess there's a million versions of vampires and there's versions of witch. But yeah, so a witch is just something, um, I don't know, the one that I like, the cozy <laughs> casting spells. Uh, 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 like brewing a herbal tea or, or flying around on broomsticks? Well, so there are some that can fly, some can't. It, and the witches have different magic and and it's not something like moving objects, that kind of witch. It's more, but uh, it's not that defined. Uh, yeah, it, it's... Sure, but do you get feeling, do you get feeling they're not all powerful, they have a specific set of yeah. skills? Yeah, they're not all powerful. And like, can they learn new spells from a book? Yes, some of yeah. them, but not all of them. Um, and demons are the interesting ones. As in, they're not the interesting ones, but as in, that was the surprising thing for me. Because demons, I've never read or, or watched anything that's, um, that's something that's something that's not just, I don't know, an evil creature that's coming to kill you in the flames? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I never imagined a creature that's a demon that's... Uh... Yeah, they're always like some hell-born possessed thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what are they in this like, 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 like in Charmed, where you just kill off a demon and they... Uh -huh. that kind of thing. They're... <sighs> so... 
and they're quite interesting. So there's lots of different kind of demons. Uh, some of them go mad and they just mad people on the street and people just think that they're mad. Some of them are very intelligent and they can like, I don't know, do well in economics and things like that. Some of them are just dreamy and, and uh, see things, the future, something like that. Like people. So that's why people don't think that they exist because they just, you know. But they have some magic powers. No. 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 So what makes them a demon? Just that. Just that they're a bit, a bit extra. Yeah. The person's a bit extra. Mm, sure. So like ADHD. Sure. <laughs> okay. Not quite. No. Okay. Okay, so you've got vampires, witches, and demons, mm -hmm. and like, what's the tension in this this book between those three things? So, demons always feel inferior because they don't really have powers; they're not immortal. They're just a bit quirky and maybe more intelligent than humans. Um, Witches are scared of vampires, and uh, vampires uh, hate witches because they have powers, and they don't know which one is the stronger, which one is not, and some of them uh, could be destroying vampires. Um, but they sort of hate each other. Witches are scared of vampires more than vampires are scared of witches, but... Okay, so what's the protagonist set up in this book? I presume it's going to be someone doesn't know they're a vampire witch demon. Um, so the main character is this uh, American woman who's working at university. She's a doctor, bishop, I think. Her name's Bishop. Yeah, her name is Bishop, oh, and she's a, doc she's a doctor. Not like the, the Archbishop of Canterbury, who also happens to be a doctor. So <laughs> doctor, doctor no. Okay. Um, at Oxford University. Yeah. Okay. And uh, she accidentally uh, finds this book. That is a book of life. Um, and uh, this, uh, the opening of the book sort of alerted all the creatures everywhere and that they felt that, that the book was opened. Um, and everyone was interested. They wanted her because she got the book. Um, or they thought that she has the book, but she gave it back to the library and she doesn't have it. But all the creatures want her now because she's able to get it. And sure they can go to the library too. Yeah, but no one has been able to find it. This has been missing and and she just simply requested it for her research and she got it. Okay. So she's somehow able to retrieve it. Uh, okay, it's like a magical library. No, it's not like a magical library. It's just really full and badly organized. No. Okay. <laughs> This is not gonna work. What? Well, <laughs> Nude! Doing that. Oh, no, no, sorry. Okay. <coughs> so is there something innately powerful about okay. that? Do you know what's not gonna work? Annoying me. Okay. I don't mean to. <coughs> is there something innately powerful about our protagonist? About Dr. Fisher? Chicken, can you not stop talking like we're in a... in a... <laughs> um... Literature class. Okay. I don't mean to. I imagine these are genuine questions I want to know to, would want to know. I mean, some of it I know from the TV series bits that I've seen. Okay. But. Yeah, so she's supposed to be coming from a very powerful family. Like her dad was supposed to be a, fam a very powerful witch, her mom was a very powerful witch, and they were murdered. And that's why she does it. Oh, she doesn't want to use her magic. She doesn't want to have anything to do with magic because she's scared she's going to be, she end up like her parents or discovered. Okay. Anyway, she doesn't want to have anything to do with magic. Okay. Yeah, and then she meets the other main character, who's a vampire. Um, and it's a love story. Okay. Between these two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and is there anything super special about him? As all vampires are super special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so amongst vampires. Uh, he's old, uh, like very old. Uh, and he lived and met a lot of famous people. Um, 
to live with a lot of famous uh -huh. people. Um, and he's from a very significant family in the vampire clans. Like the like the the like very influ influential. There's this um, sort of like a government um, um, set up by his dad father. <laughs> they wouldn't call him dad. <laughs> um, oh, how does father work? Is that the person that bit him? No. Well, yes, but um, his mother is the one that sired him. <laughs> That's what they call it. Yeah. Um, and because they were mates, so he became his father. Oh, I see. So she was bit by, he was bit by his mother. Mm -hmm. And then because they're his mother and Father together, so like like stepdad. Yeah, like stepdad. Okay. Um, yeah, so his his dad created or founded that government body that is made out of three demons, three witches, and three vampires. Okay. So. So the main point for that is so that they are not discovered. That 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 that, that all the creatures are still hidden. Okay. I think. And how well does the love story plot hang together uh, by itself? So if this wasn't a magical book, mm -hmm. would you like it as a romance story? Would it stand up by itself? No, I don't think so. Is that because it's so, cliched? No. One of the things that I like about it so, vampires are supposed to be very possessive and very protective. Like if they're mated, then that no one can even touch it. If they do, they're gonna, I don't know, who knows what. But, um, mm, so that is what I don't like about this book. That, that, um, he a lot of times tells her what to do, that she has to be, like if she's going out somewhere, someone has to walk with her, someone he knows, someone who would work for him, uh, or not work for him, because there's some family members that uh, walk with her. But someone has to be there so she's protected, so he knows that she's safe. Um, but the thing that I like that it's not like that that he just tells her what to do and she does it i like that they fight i like that they uh, that she doesn't agree with everything i like that she doesn't just oh okay you want to watch me all the time oh that's so wonderful like it's not like twilight but she has her own because she you could have all of that without the magic he could be possessive and a bit <laughs> controlling but you see, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be as justified if if he wasn't a vampire. Like if he wasn't a vampire, and so there's the scene there that um, she asked, "How do you think I would taste?" And he like goes full rage, like, "Don't you ever ask this again?" And so sort of, like trembling and and that kind of thing, like throwing a glass away from him and so sort of, holding his hands so. Like, that would not stand up if he wasn't a vampire. No, but what if he was a, a combat vet, like PTSD or something? As in, you're forgiving, you're forgiving pretty bad character traits because you're like, oh, well, vampires are like that. Yeah. But, you know, you could just have a different reason for him being that. No. No? Like, if okay. you... So, fine, like... <coughs> I don't know, if I asked something like, that would really hurt you, like, I don't know, how do you think you, you know, if you saw me kissing someone and you would react like, so if you did that, and I would react like what? Like, <laughs> so if you reacted like, oh, throw a uh, I don't know, whatever you're holding in your hands on the floor and it would smash and then and you would say, don't ever say this to me again I would be like 
uh, I don't think I want to say anything to you again. Okay. Like, sure. Whatever the reasons. Okay. Like, so fine, you have PTSD. Fine, you you have something like seriously wrong, and you're, I don't know. You are really seriously working on that, and you we I decided that that's okay. Then maybe. But if it would be like that, if it was like, I don't know, second date or something, I don't think there would be more dates. Sure, sure. Okay, so the the world that it builds allows you to be a bit forgiving of these, yeah. these character traits. And, yeah. Um, uh, okay, but you don't... <laughs> that sounded like a burp. <laughs> yeah. But you don't think that the... Um, that the, the love story by itself would would interest you. It needs the it needs the added in, added spice of there's magic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how does the magic in the world hang together? Is it consistent? Does it make sense? Or well, they're not times you think, oh just use the this spell that you do. No, 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 no. It's no. not like that. Okay. Because like I say, magic is not defined, it's not, it's not, like it doesn't have um, a clear structure, it doesn't have uh, like clear rules or clear or, or specific spells that you do. It's, uh, it's more, like to say magic is a feeling, magic uh, is, is, uh, is, is a wish and it's not, it's not defined by just specific spells. There are spells that witches use, they also make up spells. Okay, should I read this book? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Who would you recommend this book to? Uh, I, th I think people who like things about witches, like, okay. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this book is not um, groundbreaking. It's not. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel a bit deflated after the third book. Okay. Um, Would you describe it as an enjoyable book? No. <laughs> no. Is it enjoyable. Yeah, it is. Well, I did. Did it feel? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, we need somehow to finish this talk about the book. Okay, so you said it was in, you said it was enjoyable. Yeah, so I I think it's an enjoyable book. I find it uh, the the thing that is different about it is that there's these three creatures, and I think the demons is the the, the thing that is different. Um, I they, think they play a big part in the, in the story. They do not. Well, they do. There are some bits that they do. But uh, it is important that they're there, as in for the book, it is important that they're there. Um, and I think that's different, at least what, from what I've read about witches. I don't know if I've read that many books about witches. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think that that's different. Um, and I like that they're long and sort of slowly developing and it's not it's not like action action constantly action there is action there's uh spice is that another spice <laughs> no there isn't like it's definitely not explicit um but there is some if it's romance this is gonna be okay um yeah. So I I, f I feel like I feel comforted that it's a long story uh, about things I enjoy, witches and and spells and that kind of thing. Okay, it's a nice version of witches. And yeah, that's the kind of witches I like. Okay. Okay. So so what what are you reading now? Uh, now I'm reading a few books. <laughs> I'm reading Cemetery Boys, which I have here. I took the dust cover off, but I quite like it though. I quite like it. TJ Quinn? No, it's not. It's uh, 
It's Aiden Thomas. Okay. Um, I think there's another book by him I would like to try out. It's um. So the characters here are teenagers, like 16 year olds, I think. Um, and to me, this book sounds a bit like. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so the feel of it, the, the the setting of it, feels a bit like Coco, uh, or, or Pixar character. yeah, and Book of Life, and Book of Life, yeah. But it's just the setting that it's uh, the 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 Latin American community is uh, about to celebrate uh, the, the Day of the Dead. Yeah. Um, and this book is a bit like mystery book, but it it's quite slow. So it's not uh, it's not uh, like you're gonna can't stop reading because I have to figure out what's happening now. Um, it's quite slow. Um, yeah, it's quite slow. Okay, so we'll review that one when. Yeah. When you're done. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> what else are you reading? Uh, I'm reading the third book of uh, All Souls Trilogy okay. and I'm listening to Crooked Kingdom. It's the Six of Crows. Shadow Burn thing. Um, it's by the same, um, I think her name is Leah Bordugo. Um, it's not the same thing as Shadow and Bone. It's, it's in, the, in the same world, yeah. Okay, cool. <coughs> What else are we going to be reviewing soon? Uh, the TJ Clune book that you that had you crying. <laughs> Wolf song. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm um, I'm thinking of reading this one next, maybe in the lives of puppets. Okay. But I'm not sure yet because there's another TJ Clune book that I want to read. Okay. And I want to read. Um, I was thinking of reading uh, Killing Eve. Oh, yes. Just to see what it's like. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to know Oh, right. Uh, why do you have to do the call? You? No, you shouldn't have said that. Okay. Um, okay, so, yeah, so we got to talk about books some more. Um, so, see you next time. <laughs> this is